Hi, I'm Russ with Delaney Drafting and Design, and in this video, we're going to be installing the Forza 85 CPU cooler and this MHP120 fan into this simple PC right here. Now, this Forza 85, it's got the uh, LGA1700 support, and it's for the uh, Intel processors. So let's see here really quick. I got this on um, Newegg for $69.99. And um, this is for like an i7-920 CPU here. And I wanted to get the other fan, a spare fan for that. So there's two on that cooler there. So I'm going to start opening this up here. Okay, comes packed very nicely. There's the fan. Okay, it says Cougar on there and seems really nice. I think it's 120 millimeter and it's got the uh, ball bearings. Here's the instructions. Okay, so here's the cooler itself. All right, let me set this to the side. Okay, so that looks really nice. Yeah, it's like a big radiator. So then we're going to have um, have that mounted to the CPU down there. We have fans on either side here to keep it nice and cool. Okay, so that looks really nice. This is going to be our hardware kit. Okay, looks like it comes with everything that we're going to need here. They give you some thermal paste. That's nice. They thought of that. And what do we got here? Some spacers. There's the spacers. The paste. Okay. There's these little wheels with some teeth on there. Okay, a couple of springy clips. These are going to... Looks like four of the clips to hold the fan to the radiator. Okay, we've got the four screws here. These are the brackets for the motherboard. Some more screws. We have Okay, so these look like the studs, the threaded studs. These are probably going to work with those studs, I would think. We're going to have to look at the instructions really quick. And then we got these screws here. You can see they got that funny little notch on there. Okay, and then we have a couple of plates. So, that's everything that it comes with. Looks like they probably thought of everything there. So, let's bust open this other fan here. When I looked up the fan that comes with the cooler, that's what it said it was, was this MHP120, so I'm hoping this is going to be the same exact fan. And yes, very good. Alright, so they give you, this is an extension cable, two, three, of those and then they have low noise adapters so there are three of those as well very nice okay our little instruction booklet and then let's look at the hardware that they give with the fans So there's all the cables, three of each, three extensions, and three uh, low noise adapters. And then they give you three sets of mounting screws. Okay. 
That's nice. And then they give you this type of screw too. That's nice. These are the ones that go all the way through. Sometimes you just mount them to a plate. So they give you both kinds of screws. Very nice. Okay, great. So let's get into this here. This is the case that we're going to put it in. So I'm just going to open it up here, get these thumb screws open. And we're going to pull it open. I'm going to disconnect this case band and set this aside. Okay, so you see, we've got this simple, cheap little cooler in here right now. So what I'm going to do, I'm just pull that right out of there. Now they got these little things you rotate in the corners. Let's see here. Um, it's popping out of there. I'm going to disconnect it from the header on the board, and then we're going to spin this last one. And there we go. Let's see. There it is. Okay, so it's out. We're going to set that aside. And then this is where, obviously, we're going to mount the new cooler at. But in order to get access to these holes here, I'm going to pull off the back plate of this case. Set that aside. All right, so I'm going to spin this around and, okay, well, as luck would have it, uh, <laughs> on this side of the case, it's blocking off my access to the to those holes to mount the CPU. So what I'm going to have to do, actually, is I'm going to have to take some time and pull this motherboard out of there so I can get at the back side of it. So we'll take a cut and we'll come back after that. Okay, so we're back now and... I all I did was I just removed the screws holding the motherboard into the case there and I disconnected the wires going to the different headers and of course I um, also removed the graphics card so this thing should be ready to pop out right now so I'm just going to carefully pull it out and watch these cables and get the motherboard out of there. Now we can just work on it right here on the desk. So why don't I take this and set it aside for now and then we'll be working on this motherboard here. A little dusty. Okay, so obviously this is the main spot that we're going to be working on right here and we're going to access these holes and mount the CPU cooler right down on here. So I took out of the kit, this is the Intel bracket for the backside, and they got these screws that pop in to the top notch there, and you have to rotate them a certain way so they lock into that little notch that's there. It only goes one way. That way when you're tightening the screws, these studs won't just keep spinning. So again, I'm going to rotate this until it gets into that position, and there you go. So now it's not going to rotate anymore. So what we're going to do is we're going to take this bracket and we're going to put it on the back side of the motherboard. There we go. Through these holes here. So I'm going to take it just like it is and sneak it over here. And see if I can just set the motherboard on top of that. There we go. Okay, so they're popping through nice. And then just rotate them so they lock into that place. Okay, that looks good. So then what they want you to do is take these spacers and put them over those studs. There we go. And then we're going to put the brackets on. 
they show you in the instructions here the orientation for the brackets. So these little corner flanges point outward. So we're going to go ahead like that. Put that one there. And then this one's going to go here. Like that. This is going to give us a spot to mount the cooler to. So you take these little thumb screws and tighten them down on there. All right, so then we're just going to tighten these down. And try to do it nice and evenly here. Okay, that's good. And that's what it looks like from the back side. And you see I left the factory plate on there. That's how they want you to do that. This bracket that they give you goes right over that. Okay, so that looks very good. So we're going to start mounting the fan here pretty soon. And you see there's some paste left over from before. So I'm just going to take a paper towel and an a little bit of alcohol and wipe that off of there. Just to clean it up a little. We're going to put this new paste on there. And I like to have it clean before we put the new paste down. Okay, it's nice that they give you this paste with it, this Cougar paste, but I like this TG50, so I'm going to go ahead and apply some of that on there. Not too much. I sometimes do it like this, do one kind of bigger glob in the center, and then do four smaller ones out in the little corners here. Don't put a ton of it on there. I think that'll be good. There we go. Okay, so this aside. And then now we're going to get the cooler in place. Oh, and uh, they got this protective plastic film on there. You want to peel that off first, of course. All right. So let's see what the orientation is here. I think that's how they intend it. Yeah. Yeah, because we're going to have another fan right here, and that's, that's not going to fit if we have it like that. So having it like this, is going to allow us to have a fan right here and then a fan right there. So that looks good. Why don't we go ahead and screw that down? Now this is something that you want to do evenly because that that paste is under there and you want it to be a nice thin even film. So what we're going to do is we're going to grab a couple of threads on this side and screw it down and then we're going to do the same thing on the other side. All right, so I'm going to tighten this one down here. They give you a, a hole all the way through the radiator to reach that screw down there. So that's nice. Again, I'm going to just do a few threads there, and then go to the other side and do a few threads here. Do this nice and evenly. Okay, so I can feel that it's bottoming out now, and I'm not gonna I'm not gonna torque it down really tight. That's it. That's as far as it goes, and we're just gonna leave it there, and that is good. Same thing on this side. It's done. Great. So let's get those mounted on there. So now we're gonna put the fans on there. First, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take a look and make sure these are my screws to mount the board back into the case. 
And I want to make sure that I'm going to be able to access those screws because maybe I might want to put these fans after I get the case, or this the, the motherboard mounted back into the case. So that's how I'm doing right now is I'm looking it over to kind of make this assessment. I don't think it's going to conflict with any of these screws here, but I am a little concerned about these well, at least this one screw there, because you see, when I put the fan here, well, maybe I will. I'll still have access to that. So, yeah, let's go ahead and put these fans on. All right. So, if you see my other videos, I keep mentioning how they have these splitters on there. You can run multiple fans off of one header. And I don't know. I don't do that. I don't like doing that. Um, I will hook up one fan to one header like this and then the other fan I will hook up to a different header or what I'll do is um, actually if you only have one header for the CPU fan well then I'll take the other fan and I'll hook that up to a uh, SATA adapter to hook into the power supply I think that's a little better so let's get these fans mounted I think one of the important things is to notice they have the finger, the gr grills right here, and it's all open on this side. So it's probably best if we just put that side against the radiator like that. Then we take the spring clips. And we'll put them in the mounting holes here and here. And then we just take this and we squeeze it over and secure it in place there. I'm going to do the same thing on this side. In that mounting hole, and this one down here, pull it back, secure it in place. That's nice and quick and easy. So let's do that again. With this fan now, and put it on the, the front there, get the spring clip. Both of the mounting holes, squeeze it over there, looking really good so far. I'm holding it in place while I'm doing this to keep it there. Same thing, mounting holes, squeeze it over there, and you're good. Okay, so I think this looks really good. All we got to do now is connect the wires. To the spot on the motherboards and then reassemble it. So we'll cut away right now and then we'll come back when it's done. Okay we're back and I'm just putting the final touches on here. I'm reconnecting the graphics card. Got that dropped in there. Tightening it, tightening the screws down on that. So you can see that we put the, got the cooler in there of course, got the motherboard back in to the case. And I'm thinking that this is looking really good here. I did not need, I had another header on the board for the fan. Here's a header right here for the one fan. And then the other header is kind of tucked in here. You can't kind of see it, but it is, it is connected in there in that corner down there. So that looks really good. I, this is the SATA connector that I was talking about. Um, I was thinking I was going to have to use this like that and then connect it into one of the SATAs. But um, I don't need to on this application here. So that's great. We're just, like I said, just pop this down here on the board on that header. And then with that, then of course you can control the, the speed of the fan. You can't do that with a SATA connector, as a nice, friendly YouTuber had pointed out to me. There we go. So then that's reconnected. So again, I think this looks really good here. That's how it looks in the case. We still have clearance for everything like our RAM, our graphics card, our power supply, case fans and stuff like that. But yeah, that's it. That looks really good and I'm very happy with this. So I think this is going to work great for keeping that CPU cool moving forward on this, on this unit here. So that's that. So I hope you liked the video. If you did, please like, comment, and subscribe. And be sure to click the bell for notifications.